Alrighty, so what up guys, it's your boy Mr. Ambitious. If you're new, what's up? And if you're already subscribed, welcome back, man. Um in today's video I'll be showing y'all the Octo how to set up Octo Sniff and like everything you need to know about it. Um if you're new or anybody from the Octo Sniff channel, Discord, whatever, if anybody can do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel and like a couple of my videos and make sure you turn on post notifications it'll cost no much money it's free and it will support my channel and boost it and help my channel a lot i'm trying to get my subscriber count up and my public watch time up so i can get monetized for the videos now but i'm having a, like a little struggle because i am a small channel and not a lot of people have post notifications on so i'll be making these guys for people so they can you know know how to set it up and if they have any issues now, I'm also making these videos to help my homie, not FBI, CPG, and suicidal. Now, I'm helping these people, I'm helping them make these videos where well, I'm making them for them, not because they need help, but they're, all, they're, they're also uh, OctoSniff uh, admins and uh, support members. And I'm also now a support member, so I'm affiliated with OctoSniff now. But anyways, I'm making these videos specifically for people in the discord they ask for fucking support and we share them the support guys so then they go read on on how to fix something or how to set up something now there is the wireless method but it is not recommended because the complication so there's complications with certain people's router their is their internet service whatever providers they have it blocks out certain things or the router firewall blocks out certain things so I am recommending the hotspot method, the LAN switch method, or the wire method. So the wire method is your PC connected to your console. So you get an internet wire connected to your PC and then connected to your console. Now the hotspot method, you turn on the hotspot on your on your computer and then you bridge the connections. Now I'll be making a video in, in the other videos, but right now I'm going to be showing you all how to set up Octo Sniff. Now, this video is for educational purposes only. I do not participate in any illegal activity that involves DDoSing or any kind of cyber attacks like that. I use Octo personally. I use Octo Sniff for personal use only for only my home connection IPs. So I get the IPs and I see which device is in which. Now I can either turn off the device off my Wi-Fi or something where like I won't be like it won't take up all the bandwidth if that makes sense. Now I'm trying to interpret this video the best I can. Now, anybody that downloads the software or any kind of programs like this, I do not condone you and to participate or get involved in any illegal activity like that. Whatever you do is on you. I am not responsible for any stupid shit that you do. I'm just making this video for educational purposes only. Now, well, enough for ranting. So, first off, what you're going to want to do is go to octosniff.com. Now, once you go to OctoSniff, if you do not already own OctoSniff, what you're going to want to do is go make it the OctoSniff account, go to the store, go to purchase software, make a Just Gaming account with the same email that you have for your OctoSniff account. It has to be an email that you have access to. Don't make a dummy email or nothing. Be a dumb fuck. That's what people's problem is. Now, once you make a Just Gaming account and everything, you can either buy the No More Octo Sniff, it's the Octo Sniff software, or you can buy the Ultimate. With the Ultimate, you get some Octo Sniff points. Where like this, you can get some points with it. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'll have to check in a little while. But either one, once you buy that, you're gonna get emailed a token key. Now, it either gives you the token key sent to your email, or it gets sent on here on your Just Gaming account. You just go to Order Keys, and it'll show you. So once you get your Octo Sniff um, software key. You go to here and you click where it says right here announcement. If you want to redeem anything, just go here. You can click this little link right here, or you can go to your settings on your account. Now, once you click here, are you gonna just copy and paste the Octo Sniff uh, key, the token key, and copy and paste it right here, and then click claim, and then you get your software. Now, once you click claim, you're gonna go to software right here. Click download Octo Sniff. Make sure you enable this for any future updates or anything. And then once you do that. You're gonna to wanna to click download. Now before you click download, you're gonna to wanna to go to your settings, go to updating security, go to window security, turn off your firewall, 
I don't have to turn mine off because my computer is completely different from yours and I already have it as an exclusive on my thing. So once you do that, you're going to want to turn off your octo, I mean, turn off your, uh, your firewall. Then turn off your antivirus. So these two. Now once you do that, you're going to go back to the download thing. You're going to open it. Now I already have it downloaded, but I'm just showing you for this video. You're going to click yes, bar info, click run accept their alert screen now you're gonna get this little thing right here once you get this you're gonna click OK then you're gonna get this little drop down screen you can go ahead and exit the background right there then if you want you can create a shortcut where the octo sniff application just pops up on your desktop like on this screen or you just click next I'm just gonna go ahead and click next then you click install now as you can see I already have it downloaded so I'm just gonna click OK now once you get this screen you're gonna to want to click next now, before you click finish, you're going to want to go to uh, your control panel. So click the Windows key, control panel, system and security. And then once you go right here where it says Windows Defender Firewall, you're going to want to go to where it says allow uh, an app through Windows Firewall. Then you're going to click change settings. Then you're going to scroll down where it says add another app. Now, once you do that, you're going to get go ahead and get this little screen right here. You're going to click browse. Then you're going to go to this PC. Then you need to go to your hard drive, program files, look for Octo, click on it, then click open, then click the Octo Sniff application right here. Where's this Octo Sniff? Then you click open. Then you need to click add. Now I already have it as an as a as um through my Windows firewall. Then you need to click OK. Then you're going to exit all this. Then you're going to go back to your um, uh, Windows protection thing, so Windows security. Then you're gonna go to virus threats and protection. Then you're gonna go right here where it says manage settings. Then you're gonna go to where it says add an exclusion. Now you're gonna get an alert screen, you're gonna click yes. Then you're gonna click add an exclusion, files. Then you're gonna look for the Octo Sniff application, which is right here. It will have the little thing right here, where it's like the little administration thing. So once you add that, I don't gotta add it because I already have it added. Now once you add that, you're gonna click finish. Then you accept the alert screen. Then you give it a second while Octo Sniff loads up. Now mine's gonna be different from yours. And as you can see, OctoSniff is now downloaded. And then if you want to use a wireless thing, you just click this drop down menu right here. And then you could either you could try you could use the wireless method. It will say like wireless and then like um like your IP next to it. It'll say wireless and your IP next to it. Now if it does do that, then you just click that. And then once you click your Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna use this as for example. So once you click like your right, uh, your, either your router, it will say router Ethernet. Now this one's gonna be different. My, yours is gonna be different. So once you find your wireless or whatever setup you want to use, you're gonna want to just click set up ARP. And then once you go to this screen, you're gonna click next to the router. You're gonna go to router, and then you're gonna find your console IP. So you go to your Wi-Fi settings and click the IPv4 as the router. And then after that, once you click the your the right IP that you want to pull from the console, so it this works for all consoles. I forgot to mention it works for PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. It's gonna be the same thing, the same setup, this only different the only thing is gonna be different for the router, you're gonna to want to click for like the router, your final IP that's for your uh your PC. And then the once you once you do that, you're just going to go to uh, client setting, client device, and then you're going to look for the gateway IP. So lose your time is going to be 1.1. All you're going to have to do is just check. So once you do that, then you go to the game filters right here. You go to interface. And you can either turn these on. I do recommend these uh, turned on because it looks cool. Now, if you're trying to pull from a certain game, I'm just saying what I'm not condoning anything, just showing you. You, can, uh, you don't need to use Xbox, and say you're using it for GTA, the internet protocols are going to be right here in the PlayStation tab. And then if you go to game filters, you're going to make sure you want to have the game, the filtered game thing right here on the interface. And if it's an updated version of the game and it's, and it's not on the 
the game filters, you're going to want to turn on other info. So for example, say I'm going to use Call of Duty. I enable Call of Duty and make sure everything's turned off. Everything, other, the other things are turned off. Then I'm going to close this. Then I'm going to go to Filtered Games. Then I'm going to click Sniff and then join the game. And the IP should be right here on Filtered Games. And if it's not on Filtered Games, it's going to be in other info. And if no info, like no internet protocols pop up, it's probably because your, your router is blocking it if you're using the wireless method. So if that happens, you're going to want to do the hotspot method. And I'm going to make a video, uh, a video on that, on that setup. So I'm explaining. So if anything that's not on here, and if it says client, you could get, uh, uh, for example, IPs. But if it says server only, it's going to be the server IP. So for example, Call of Duty server, Days server, Discord server. And a common one people want to use it for is Rainbow Six Siege. Yes, it you can. It's compatible with Rainbow Six Siege. But again, it's only server IP. Quote server. So you won't get like IPs from other like players that aren't in the game. It will just be server IP. So that's how you set up Octo Sniff. Now I'm gonna be making a different video on like the set the uh, like methods. So like it's gonna be the hotspot method, the VPN method, or wired method. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoy. And again, if you watch this video and you still can't figure out what your problem is, that's on you. And again, if this drop-down menu is not popping up, what you're going to want to do is delete OctoSniff and delete WimpyCap. Make sure it's fully deleted off your PC and then go back to the OctoSniff thing and re-download it and it will fix it. And if it's still not fixed, then that means you got to manually download WimpyCap. So with that, bro, yeah, guys, take it easy, man. And please do not comment something like, hey, uh, how do I do this? Because you're going to need to go to the Discord support. And if you can't figure out a problem on how to fix something from these videos, bro, then that it's a user error. It's not my problem. You're doing something wrong. It's on you. So with that, bro, everybody take it easy, bro. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, bro. And peace the fuck out, man.